last lesson we prepared Jenkins master instance. We can access it now securely via web browser. However, I won't create any new job for now, and the reason is that we still didn't configure any slave instances. Theoretically, we can run jobs on the master, but this will slow down user interface, job execution, and is not really a good practice. In this lesson, we'll prepare one worker instance. But let me first make two small corrections about last lesson. First of all, Jenkins documentation prefers word agent instead of slave. And second, SSH connections are initiated by master. So instead of this picture, this one is more accurate. Let us focus on agent. First of all, what is an agent? An agent is any computer that is available to execute some task for us. To be eligible as agent, a machine must have Java installed on it. And second, it must be SSH accessible from the master. I'll skip Java installation part because I showed it in previous lesson. Let's have a closer look at SSH part. To be able to access agent from the master via SSH, we need to do three things. First, create an SSH key pair, public key and private key. Both of this key needs to be created and stored on the master. Second, we need to copy public key to the agent. And third, we need to try to manually access agent from the master using public key authentication. If all three operations above succeed, we will be almost done. So let's do it quickly. So here I'm logged into Jenkins master and I'll create public private key pairs. Master JX is the name of the key pairs. I'll leave passphrase empty. Let's double check them. master jx this is the private key and master jx.pub is public key let's copy public key to the agent notice here i specify master jx not master jx.pub and finally let me try to access agent from the master great it works. And now let's add agent node to Jenkins. For that I'll go to manage Jenkins, manage nodes and clouds, new node, I'll make it permanent and call it agent1. Now home root directory I'll name it home worker master dir host will be agent eugenci.com I don't have any credit credentials so I'll add them now as credentials will use SSH username and private key master GX's ID and I'll copy paste the content of the private key here and the passphrase I'll leave it empty I'll show you a trick here so you can choose host key verification strategy at the beginning with non-verifying non-verifying verification strategy save it and once your agent is up and running again click on it configure and change host verification strategy to known host file verification strategy and save it and now we have a master and an agent both online and waiting to execute jobs I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.